Hi Tangle friends, I'm Manny Reiser and I'd like to welcome you to my second of my Austrian Lunchtime Tangle series. I am here in beautiful Frankenfels in Austria, uh, Niederösterreich, which is Lower Austria, and in a little village just outside, about an hour and a half southwest of Vienna. I will be showing you a tangle today that I especially like as a string. It's my own, based on an inspiration that I got um, in one of the many patterns that I saw while I was visiting Vienna. The inspiration is actually a window from the Heeres Geschichtliche Museum in Vienna. It's an arsenal actually, and now a military museum. Very, very cool. The building itself is just unbelievable. And this window has a pattern in it that's star-like. It's the focal point of the pattern. And I'm calling it Web Star, W-E-B-B, -B, for the web telescope that has been bringing us amazing pictures of stars as of late. Wow. So I hope you enjoy it, not only as a tangle, it's a but also you could use it as a string. It's got some really nice, interesting sections and divisions. So I hope you explore both tangle and string when I show you the step out. Today I'm only going to show you the actual step out um, and a couple of inspirations maybe. so you can take it from there. And I will show you also here a few of the photos that I saw and uh, when I was visiting that museum. So without further ado, let's start stepping out Webstar. So for my new tangle Webstar, we're going to be needing just a piece of paper. I'm using a white Zentangle tile and a 01 Micron pen from Sakura, soft graphite pencil. I'm using a plastic eraser and then I have a little centimeter ruler here. And we're gonna do this project in centimeters because I'm here in Europe and I am not in my studio. So this is a, actually kind of a geometric pattern. I pretty much am eyeballing it with the exception of the square. I did cut out a square that is one and a half by one and a half centimeter square. The diameter of the circle is six and a half, yes, six and a half centimeters or two and a half inches. I am just going to do this the Zentangle way by eyeballing it. There are of course other geometric ways to find the center of the circle and to find the eight points of this star, but I'm going to do this in a kind of a more freeform eyeball it way. I am not using a compass or another tool that you could use for this project is the Marcus Operandos from Zentangle but I don't have those because I'm on travel. So I decided to just wing it. And my very first sketch in stepping this out was, was this one here that I experimented with on color. And it has, as you can see, a very wonky star. The points are not so bad in terms of their division, but I thought, okay, how can I make my star better? So I decided to use that square and I'll show you how we step it out. So I, I made that note better start with two squares and build from there. Here's my little square and I just I am eyeballing it in the center of my circle that I have already pinned out. You are going to need to do this all in graphite because you need to 
be able to erase several of the guidelines before you do the final inking of the tank. So I pretty much am sure this is about in the center. And from there, we're going to, I'll show you my step out. I did it in my, uh, I didn't do it on my tangle tag this time because it's a pretty big tangle and I wanted to make sure it's very clear for you to see. I'm going to post this step out on my Annie's Bow Tangle alumni student Facebook page. I'll take a JPEG of it and that way you can stare at it as long as you'd like. It's also in the front of this video. What we're gonna do is first make the square like a straight on square and then we're going to take it and turn it 45 degrees and put another square on top trying to keep those corners those corner triangles pretty equal, equal within that square so that you end up with something like this and that's going to be our guideline for the rest, which is really quite easy. We don't have to measure anything at all. I do not measure. I am more of a tangler of organic patterns. That's my forte, but I really love this pattern. And I wanted to make it easy enough for me. So now when I did it this way, I just eyeballed it and then I just hand, free handed the rest. If you wanna be a little bit more mindful and more particular, you can draw lines with your ruler. We're gonna draw a line all the way connecting either side with our ruler. And then I'm gonna turn it and do the same thing with this edge. So they, they need to be, if you're gonna be very particular about it, one and a half inches in width. I'm sorry, centimeters, one and a half centimeters in width. Already not perfect, but that's okay. We're gonna do the same thing here. And now we're gonna turn it 45 degrees and here's our new square. And we're gonna do the same thing on these edges to create those eight spokes kind of. And we're gonna do this to all sides. You can use a ruler, but you don't have to. Now comes the rounding of our edges that we will do on each of these spokes. So I'm gonna just actually make a tick mark about halfway eyeballing it and come up and save out that edge. Just rounding it like that. Same on all eight sides. And now I'm going to erase these inner lines to create our mid star right in the center, right? So if you look at my step out, here are the two squares together. We want to get rid of this inside line on each of those points so that it creates this star. I'm going to erase first and then I'm going to ink because that way I've got my guideline and then I can get my eraser out and really erase it well afterwards. Don't want to lose that point. We want to keep all of our points. So getting my pen out. And here again, you can adjust a little bit, even just by drawing on the inside or outside of the line to sort of make those points more equal. This is Zentangle, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And like I said, I think there could be some really cool things to do using this as a string. Okay, so there's our star. And now we can go ahead and ink out the rest of the petals or those other division lines. Starting at the point, I'm gonna just draw up freehand. I'm not going to use the ruler. I'm trying to take my best guideline. Take your time and be mindful. We wanna leave off those straight lines. Just take the curved corner lines. You can see I'm always coming from the point of the star. This reminds me of the end of a popsicle stick. 
Now I'm just going to take my eraser. I have a large plastic eraser here and clean that all up. So that is Webstar. Not too bad for being eyeballed and not completely geometrically measured out. Enjoy letting your inspiration take you wherever you want it to go. Use this as a string. Use it as a focal point for a tangled project. Here's what I came up with. I decided to make that clear glass window into a stained glass window because I also was inspired by another pattern in the armory or in the arsenal uh, that is very much, it is my Celtic cable knot pattern that I have a tutorial on for you. So you can go back and look at that if you want to try to replicate this. I just did a lot of different aura lines and I used some watercolor for the stained glass. That is Webstar. I did want to share one more in, uh, inspiration with you. I did this after I had recorded the other portion of this video. This is a galaxy watercolor background. It's actually not watercolor. It's made with the with the inks. Dyes. They're actually ink dyes. You can erase until the cows come home and you won't see it. So this is another inspiration. Again, have fun with this project and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Until next time, I'm going to sign off and I'll see you hopefully with another tutorial from Austria. Bye-bye for now. That's it for today's Tangle. Thanks for joining me. If you like these lunchtime tutorials, please give them a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also invite you to check out my website for classes that I have scheduled or to purchase my Tangle tags for your favorite step outs. That's bowtangle.net. I'm leaving you with some other links too. Zentangle.com, where you can learn more about the Zentangle method from its founders, Rick Roberts and Maria Thomas. You can also visit their store there for a multitude of Zentangle paper tiles, tools, books, and kits. Tanglepatterns.com is that site I talk about where you can explore hundreds of tangle patterns, read about them, and get the step out, which is basically the deconstruction of the pattern. And finally, if you'd like to share your beautiful results with me and my student community, please join Annie's Botangle Alumni Facebook page. We're a private group where we inspire each other with our work and offer tips and useful information about art and Zentangle.